Hans Berger was born in Noises, in 1873, and, dreaming of becoming an astronomer, he began his academic career as a mathematics student. After just one semester he abandoned his study, and enlisted for a year of service in the cavalry. One day, something happened. His platoon was on a training exercise, when Berger's horse reared, causing him to fall, right in the path of a horse-drawn cannon. His life flashed before his eyes, and he knew he would die in an instant, but the driver of the cannon stopped in time, and Berger could crawl out of its way, unharmed. At that exact same moment, his sister, many kilometers away, felt he was in danger, and she urged her father to send Hans a telegram, to ask if he was all right. Later, Hans Berger said about the incident, it was a case of spontaneous telepathy in which, at a time of mortal danger, and as I contemplated certain death, I transmitted my thoughts, while my sister, who was particularly close to me, acted as the receiver. The event aroused Berger's fascination with the brain, and when he resumed his studies at the university, he changed his subject to medicine, with the goal of discovering the physiology of psychic energy. He obtained his medical degree in 1897 and joined the staff of Otto Binswanger at the clinic in Jena, and he started to record from the cortical surfaces of dogs, becoming senior lecturer at the university in 1906 and physician-in-chief in 1912. During World War I, he served as an army psychiatrist on the Western Front. A year after the war he succeeded Binswanger as chair in psychiatry. He continued to record from the cortical surface, this time of humans. In 1924, while experimenting on his son Klaus, and on others, he recorded the first human electroencephalogram, or EEG, but filled with doubt, he postponed publishing his observations for five years. When he published Das Elektroencephalogram in 1929, the discovery of the alpha EEG rhythm, also called the Berger rhythm, and the beta rhythm were described for the very first time. Unfortunately, his discovery was met with disbelief, and disdain, by the scientific establishment. Among other German psychiatrists, he was a bit of an oddball. It would take until 1937 before the importance of his research was recognized, and his discovery of the alpha rhythm was confirmed by Edgar Adrian and Brian Matthews. In 1938, he was 65 years old, the Nazis forbade any work on electroencephalography and Berger was made Professor Emeritus in Psychology, which is a nice way of saying he was sidelined. Berger took his own life in 1941. His discovery of the EEG is his lasting legacy.